Hello, and welcome to WaterDog Photography Blog. I'm Brooke Peterson, and today I'm going to show you a great new tool that Adobe Lightroom CC came out with in June of 2015. This tool is called the Dehaze tool, and it is found in the Develop module under the Effects toolbox. I'm going to show you how this is great news for underwater photographers. Often when we take our images, we have a lot of water between our camera lens and the subject and this can cause the picture to look somewhat hazy and so this dehaze tool is great news for us. I'm going to open this picture in uh, in the library and it's a wide-angle image of a diver and there's quite a bit of distance between my camera lens and this diver so the picture does look quite hazy and I'm going to go to the develop module and in the develop module I'm going to open up the toolbox and you'll see all these toolboxes on the right hand side. I'm going to click on the effects tool. At the bottom of the effects toolbox they've added this new tool called the dehaze tool and it's just a slider. First I'm going to slide it to the left so you can see what happens if you add haze which might be an effect that you would want top side if you wanted something to look foggy or maybe um, a model that you want to look a little bit hazy around her. Um, but for underwater photographers, removing haze from our pictures is a priority. So I'm going to move this slider to the right, and this is the only tool that I'm going to use for this. I'm going to move it to about 50, 48, 50, whoops. About 50. And you can see what a difference this makes, and it's the only tool that I have used so far. Let me show you what this looks like before and after. You can see how much haze has been removed from this picture. Another tool that we can use, uh, we can use the same tool for, is for macro photography. So this is an image of a nudibranch that I have uh, taken that needs a little bit of clarity in the picture. And I could go to the basic toolbox and use um, the tools that are in there, which I would normally do, but the dehaze tool works well for this as this also because it brings up the colors in the picture. So let me pull this slider up. I'm going to actually I'll bring it up all the way so you can see, 100 100 percent. Um, this this does a great job of just making it more clear around my image. So it's good for uh, macro photography as well as wide angle photography. This is what happens if you pull the slider down the other direction. I'm going to bring it all the way up again and I'll show you a before and after. So it's not quite as dramatic but it's definitely a, a nice little tool to have. And what's great about this tool is even after you have used it you can still go to the basic panel and you can add more contrast or uh, more clarity to the image and um, the dehaze is, is just a nice little tool in a neat little package that you can use. So it's a short tutorial, but I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, please check out some of my other videos on YouTube or look at my blog, Water Dog Photography Blog, for other tutorials on underwater photography. That's waterdogphotographyblog.com. And if you enjoy looking at my images, please visit my gallery at waterdogphotography.com. Thank you for watching.